Choke no joke, chicky choke no joke. Choke no joke, chicky choke no joke. You know what it is. Girl, why'd you have to leave me that way? I love you to this day. And it hurts to think of the words you used to say. Girl, why'd you have to leave me so long? I never did you wrong. And I think of the words to this song. <laughs> Chill no joke, I'm in the building, y'all. Let's get to it, all right? Woo, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Choke, no joke. KK, New life. Uh. Uh. They said I'd be dead or in jail. They was half right. I saw a right can sell. I knew I wasn't rich when I couldn't make bail. I made out good. Five niggas that didn't tell. Hold up. Don't go to trial when caught up. Roll the dice. Watch the numbers just go up. When you're off or worse, short as a puff's nuts. You got to wear me because you pressed your luck. Uh. You could have been back on the town. Industry bound, no more busting it down. To court is half O's, having to catch the flow. And reassuring those who act like they don't know that the ratchet let go. If you think we won't, fill them hollow points up with mercury. Send them to another planet, leave them screaming like Mike and Janet. Niggas can't stand it. I fell champagne with Ross running the game When I was locked and the CEO jumped in my face Talking gangster, nigga huh? Like I'm not a fucking gangster, nigga huh? But you got it in here, cause the odds ain't fair Cause you got that walkie and that button right there But after eight hours, you leave here And that's when you friend, it's not fair You shoot at the range, we shoot when in range Roll up in that range, your face look real strange The look on my face is I got that aim Before you reach, you feel the pain uh, Blood stain, calculate to your brain You've been licked by that thing In the game of death, that's what you get when got game It's a method to the madness, how I bring the pain Of one that's not sane Choke, no joke, I do my thing Can't hang, hang, hang they say you nobody until they kill you I'm somebody alive, guess that make me a ill dude Made my name before the funeral Considered a legend and still make moves They know you when you gone, they know me when I'm on All over the board, you restricted, you pawn You went and cut a lawn, blow a candle at dawn Choke got it going on like fuel Tell me you fools, it's more ass than mule Never rule like Rick, but Mona Lisa in your crib Haters mad cause I'm doing what they wish they did Without the rock, it's still gunning like Chris Nigga try to block, I time a whole this shit Nigga looking down at me, now he looking at dick Pause, just, just the term and shit It's choke, no joke, nigga I'm lit Fire up, and we recorded this in the D Joke, no joke, I'm in the building. What's good, y'all? How y'all doing out there? How you feeling today? How you feeling today? Make sure y'all follow me on my new Instagram, Choke No Joke Official. A lot of people been looking for me. It's right there down in the ticker. You know, Choke No Joke Official. I'm going to get my other page back. Don't worry about it. I definitely ain't worried about it. But I see, you know, people thinking that I blocked them or I took a break and, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. But if you want to find me, that's where I'm at. Choke No Joke Official right there at the ticket. All right. Choke No Joke is the cash app. All right. And if you want to uh, hit me up on my Patreon, with the, my Patreon game. All right. Um, hold on one second here. Yeah. So, um, 
Yeah, hit me up on my Patreon game. And my Patreon people, y'all want to hit me up, man. Y'all got special privileges to me, man. Just hit me a message of your jokes. I want to rap to you on the phone. Woo, woo, woo. Y'all get special privileges on the Patreon. Use them, all right? Choke No Joke. It's patreon.com backslash choke no joke, all right? Ask Bigger BX. He tell you. He called me all the time. <laughs> First, last, good looking. I appreciate that, brother. That's all I try to do, man. And uh, it's inspiring and enlightened to teach those about the game, man. You know, these niggas want everybody to rap the same. But uh, speaking of that, let me get into this before I get started, all right? Mr. Peace Prego. They want to track. Choke, low choke. You know what it is. Let's go, let's go. I inspire y'all to all want more. Don't listen to these fakes and these frauds. They don't own cars with Lamborghini doors. When I show cut, it's back to the store. I was born in the Jackson. This shit was hell. The place where I saw soldiers fall. Some simply for nothing at all Some cause they lived on the other side of the wall Now this might sound crazy, love what the hood made me uh, Poverty made me far from lazy This ain't the place you wanna raise your babies Young girls out here thinking they lazy Snow's probably white, they brain all hazy Ask them what they wanna be, they look at you crazy These young cats out here looking all angry I was just like them, sometimes the music made me Act other than myself, no influence lately Cause behind the scenes, they not living greatly And I found out that most of these cats act Never so jacked, saw the penitentiary Let's go, I inspire y'all to all one They really not thugs If they was, where are the slugs? Do you see them when you cop your drugs? Holding up with S to be in the front? Nah, it's not what they got, it's what they want In the jungle, we all we on the hunt It's chemical It's chemical beats You know what it is Joke no joke, you know what it is So yeah, man I see the, the uh, I don't even know what to call them. The, the, the people that love the drama and the bullshit. They, they in, uh, in the chat, tongues wagging. Give us a tape, give us a tape. Tell us about the fight. It's like, relax, man, relax. Chill out, calm down, say hello. Did you brush your teeth today? Did you wash your ass today? Calm down. Calm down. Gosh. In the rush for nothing, man. Who you in the rush for, man? You in the rush for nothing, man. Can't be in a rush for nothing, man. It's choke, no joke. Learn from mistakes and stores right now. Spotify, Don't follow those cats. All of the YouTube music. Choke, no joke. You already know. Let's go out to Grey Go. Now I'm out the game. Feel good, not pitching in the hood. Uh, and I really don't think I could. Uh, Go back to selling crack and stashing them packs in my ass. I maintain weekly money the same. And now nah, I don't go through them games. Niggas testing my brain with them triple beans filled with change. Pot crack, 
grams in the drain. Getting hit with the fake exchange. Like bacon soda flour. After being on Broadway for hours. Getting knocked, being back at start. Niggas testing if I got heart. Pushing me to pop some shots. Just stop the ball before the start. Old lady with the binocs. Give description to cops. Why they try to tear us apart with that good cop, bad cop. I ain't going for the game, he ain't tell you a thing. Your partner's with him, saying the same. You tighten them cuffs till you see veins. Stop fucking yanking them down. Now I'm out the game. They might fuck you if you ain't sane. And nigga never sniff cocaine. And I don't care what game or part of the area you claim. Now I'm out the game. Gray Scarface, you must be insane. Nigga. Tony fucked the boy's name. His right hand man, he's slain to get his back blown out the game. Okay. Do it on the low, let nobody know. No pillow talk to home. And if he step on your toes, don't bust a blame. Cause everybody will know. Or get out the game. They say that change is good. Uh-huh. It's a lot of stress in the hood. And I know if you could, you would. Out the game, but you stuck in that time. Where the nigga public like shine for witness to drop a dime for self defense. Do it, die. Celebs doing time. Mike Vick on the chow line. Even Kobe, Jason Williams, Gage, kick like Shinobi. Little Kim for perjury. Uh, you know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up, right? When it's late night, but you ain't get to the story. Y'all, you don't want to hear my music. Nigga, I don't care what you want to hear. Hold on, let me block you for one. Poof, be gone. Now, listen, don't worry about me playing my music. It's my music on my channel if you don't have patience get your ass out of here or stay and come back for the playback nigga i ain't in no rush to please you i don't see you on my patreon who are you to rush me i never got a donation from you who are you to rush me you don't pay a cable bill to me you don't subscribe to me. Who are you to rush me? I'm the architect over here, brother. Respect the architect, or don't come here. Now, before I was uh, rudely interrupted, shout out to my moderators for zapping these haters. You know, I got the moderators that zap the haters. Be real. Yo, choke, man. Your moderators be bugging. Wipe your feet before you walk in this house over here. Wipe your feet before you walk in the house, man. I know the mat say welcome, but it's there for you to wipe your feet before you step in our house, all right? We don't play those games over here. Rushing the nigga. Hurry up, nigga. Hurry up. I'm on my lunch break. You can always come back and watch the playback. Don't rush me. I'll play another song right now, goddammit. Don't you rush me. There are people that like my music, sucker. Moving on. Y'all president, Biden spoke yesterday. I ain't get a chance to check out what he said. But I'm going uh, Neil, what up? Neil, 8-2. Neil, build and destroy. 
with wisdom. So, for those that don't watch Drink Champs or didn't see the episode with Crazy Bone, then you don't know what I'm talking about. You didn't see it. <laughs> Stuff said, play another song right now. <laughs> we got you. We got you, said Fred. Don't worry about it. We got you. All right. So when I say that Nori knocked out Crazy Bone, the show is called Drink Champs. It's a drinking competition if you ain't smart. And Crazy got his ass knocked out. In other words, got his ass drunk under the table. It, however you want to look at it, he embarrassed his goddamn self forever. That interview will be there forever. And we know now we do not want crazy at no cookout because that nigga can't drink. <laughs> that nigga turned into the drunk uncle or drink chair. Yeah, yeah, no, Mel, Melvin Flint was the shit, nigga. I tell you, Dory, Melvin Flint was the shit. <laughs> yo, I tell you, yo, Nori is a dirty knocker. Oh, the boy dirty, man. The boy dirty. He'll get you. He got you crazy, bone. You thought you was crazy? Yeah, you look crazy. You look damn crazy, boy. You can't drink. You're not going to drink champ show. You was a drink chump. You can't drink. You look like the old drunken uncle, man. Norby Lamar Odom Jew. <laughs> Yo, Nori, Nori Lamar Odom, uh, crazy bo. That nigga that did like. Boom, 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 boom. It's the target rockets, boom. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Nori had that nigga so zapped. And I, I felt so bad for him, man. At the end, oh, it's a total train wreck. I now I know when when Bone Thugs was on tour with them, with uh with Crazy Bone, I know them niggas was slapping the bottle out of his hand like <laughs> nigga, you can't drink, nigga. Cause that nigga was he was drunk. I mean, he was drunk. Nori was sitting there looking at him like. Got him. Got him. Yo, let me tell you how drunk this dude was. This dude was so drunk. He told the same goddamn story twice back to back about how they got the hook for the thuggish, ruggish bone. Back to back drunk. He said they're like, yeah, Nori. I thought you know Melvin Flint was the shit, nigga. <laughs> he spit it all across the table. Morgan, Morgan Flint was the shit, nigga. Yo, Melvin Flint was the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
And Nori's sitting there like, so Nori asked him early on in the show, so yo, man, what's up with all that Illuminati shit? Like, you believe that? You know, because y'all had, a, you know, it's so, nah. and Crazy tells a whole Illuminati story, right? When he's sober or halfway sober. When Nori get him zoinked, Nori double backs on that. So no, that's how dirty Nori is. This man already asked the question when he was in his right state of mind. So Nori ain't really believe him. So Nori gonna wait till he got him zoinked and asked him the same goddamn question about the Illuminati again when he was pissy drunk. Was hoping that he cracked and said something different, right? Prior to that, he did the, 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 the Doug and Shruggish bone thing, right? He tells a story about how the girl, Zatasha, was walking down the street. And she was like, hey, what's this place? And he was like, oh, it's a studio. Oh, word, I sing, word. And they they out, they doing the Doug and Shruggish bone joint. And then they go in there and tell her how to He tells the story, right? Yeah, I don't know what happened. They must have took another shot, another two or whatever. They talk about ourselves. Then he goes right back into the story again. The same story. But now he's even drunk and telling it. And he's adding more to it than he, than he said the first time. Yeah. So the girl, she walked down the street. And DJ EFN, he's a good dude. But when he's sitting around Nori... He's like, times he got to be a piece of a doodle too, just just for good TV, because he always interferes with Nori throwing the nigga under the bus. He has a conscience. He's not. He's like me. That's why I think me and e, uh, DJ EFN is cool because I think we one in the same. We care when we. We probably care about people that don't even care about us, but we got morals and principles. So we care about the people in the industry and our legends and this, that, and other. Nori don't give a fuck. Nigga, Nori will throw any nigga under the bus, except for Fat Joe. He probably throw Fat Joe under the bus, too, at this point. Because now, now that I, I've seen a couple of interviews, Nori's the one that really put Fat Joe in position. Nori's the one that hooked Fat Joe up with Jay-Z. Nori's the one that uh, Fat Joe swagger jacked with the podcast and got his own thing going. So Nori might, he, he might throw Fat Joe under the bus one day too. I don't know. But <clears throat> when it comes to that drink champs, if you go sitting up there, you're not subjected to not getting thrown under the bus. Nori's going to get you out. His, his job is to make you look silly at the end of the show and stuff. Got to be careful. You see, they ain't got Puff up there too drunk, and his feminine side came out. Ask Fabulous. <laughs> when me and you going to party, Fab, when we going to party together, Fab. Fab like, yo, nigga, you came to my birthday talk, party the other day. No. Damn, Nori, what you got in this? No, with me and you gonna party alone, Fab. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you going now? DJ EFN, he's like, hold on, cut. Like, yo, this dude already told his story already. What are we doing here? Nori looking at him like, nigga, if you don't shut the hell up. <laughs> Nori, Nori, stay giving uh, DJ EF in it. Like, nigga, I'm not. I know I could be stupid at times, nigga, but I'm not stupid. I know what I'm doing right now, nigga. Shut up, <laughs> DJ EF. Like, oh, wait a minute. He talked about this one. Nori looking at him like, nigga, would you shut up? Shut up. I got this. Go ahead, tell the story again. When you see Nori giving you that look like this, gotcha. Crazy bone, go back and look at the tape. 
When you see it at the end, when Nori looking at you like this, or you like, yeah, man, you know, I I I the be the boot the be the be. He turned to the nigga for fat out, but at the end, of it. for he, first he was like, first he was spitting that I'm the thuggest rugged. It's the the front, he he wrong, he wrong, he wrong, wrong. By the <laughs> by the end of the show, that nigga he wasn't kicking that uh that that the hold on. <laughs> <laughs> as we get as we get as we get out of the interview crazy he was on he was on square you know he was like you're feeling the strip of the rump step up here in the funk of the trump that the thugs is filled just be thugging straight buzzing loving you peoples be so real chill yeah Better ring on that weapon, like <laughs> with stepping ring on that ammunition, tripping those slip, not to mention never no competition. But I gotta get mine, so I'll scream out, whoa, don't let them hear me holler. Not about that mighty dollar. Roll with the bone, more thugs will follow. Chain game remain in the flame and drinking and drinking the brew. Thinking and hanging, clocking my bang and thinking the rules. <laughs> By the end of that, by the end of the show, crazy boy was sounding like dumb dog, dumb on, dumb dog or fat Albert. Hard to be, to be, to be, to be. The, be the, um, what did the baby, the mom, the be, 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 that nigga know yeah, that nigga so joint. <laughs> and then Nori asked him again, he says, So yeah, about the Illuminati. Tell me about the Illuminati. And Crazy Bones like, Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. Like, he, he like, damn, I know I talked about that. Did we talk about that? And here go EF and get ready go. Nori looked at EFA like, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> and Crazy Bone like, Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. Illuminati. Uh, didn't we talk about the Illuminati? Nori got, I got this nigga drunk. Drunk, drunk. And this nigga's going to tell me something different. But that's when you know a person telling the truth. <laughs> because drunk or sober, he still told the same story. Even with the thuggish, ruggish bone thing and uh, with uh, Zatasha and, um, and the Illuminati thing, he still told the same story. But be careful with Nori. And now, when y'all go on drink champs, y'all better start checking Nori's, uh, <laughs> Nori's bottle. Because Nori stays with this one bottle, and he the, the, the Ciroc with the white bottle. And it was, there's probably water in there. And he keep filling his joint up, going, cheers. And the other dude's filling up everybody else's joint. But Nori filling his up with that one bottle, which is probably water. Because, come on, man. What is this nigga tolerance level to drink a whole, even a half a bottle of liquor, and he not looking like his guest? You see how Lamar Odom was? Lamar Odom was like. Lamar Odom couldn't even talk. That nigga was so drunk and stuff. No, you sitting there looking at him with that same look he was. Crazy Bone, go look at the Lamar Odom joint and when and look at the face that he giving Lamar Odom. The same face he gave you when you was zoinked. And with the way he's looking at uh 
Like DJ EFN, he's the same thing. With Lamar Odom, he's a good angel. I, that's why I love him. He's a good brother. He don't want his brothers, even though he's Cuban, he's still a brother. And he don't like his brothers in hip hop looking stupid. You know what I'm saying? He just don't like brothers looking stupid, period. That's just who DJ EFN is. Even with the Lamar Odom thing, he's like, yo, no, cut the camera. Stop this. Like, this is an embarrassment. Like, yo, we ain't going to do this to our brother. Nori said, don't cut the cameras. We having fun here. We having fun, right? What are you saying? Take another shot. But we having fun, Lamar. You know why you came here. You know why you came here, right? Lamar's like, yo, man, but you we from the same place, Norman. Don't be. No. Came up here. Cause you my friend. I want you to interview me like you didn't Google me. Nori, don't play me like I'm stupid, Nori. You supposed to interview me? You my man. You know me. You don't interview me like you Google me, man. We having fun, right? You can't not have fun. You're not having fun. Take another shot. But I'm too drunk to tell him. <laughs> Lamar Owen wanted to get that nigga piece of mind, but he couldn't even get his thoughts together. He was so drunk. But now he's like, got him. <laughs> Crazy, bro. Got him. <laughs> Irv Gotti got him. <laughs> you know, Irv was drunk. I think Irv was like, man, yo, you know who can do some drugs? That nigga Puff. That nigga Puff can do some drugs. And this nigga on Revolt TV. <laughs> you know, that nigga Puff was like, hey, girl, what the fuck are you doing on my channel, nigga? <laughs> you ain't lying, that nigga crazy was beyond twisted. That nigga was like, Melvin Flint with this shit, nigga. <laughs> That nigga, yo, I know them bone niggas was embarrassed for crazy. You know, one of them niggas like, see, this is why I told y'all, man. I don't be wanting to do no interviews with this nigga when he drinking, man. <laughs> nigga, smoke the weed, man. That's what you good at, nigga. Smoke the weed. Don't be doing no interviews while you drinking, nigga. Then he tried to hit him with the, uh, the Migo stuff. Oh, no, he set him up, boy. Boy, he set him up. Crazy bone, man. Next time you go up there, you know the uh, BYOB. Bring your own beer. <laughs> Bring your own bottles, nigga. Them niggas, they gave you... I don't know what they gave you, but whatever you was drinking, Nori wasn't drinking. Because, nigga, you was slurring and... <laughs> You were slurred. You it was bad, brother. It was bad for you. So that's why I say crazy moment got knocked the fuck out. He wasn't a drink champ. 
He went out like the drink chump. Nori drunk, drank his ass under the table. And what you call it, DJ EF, and he tried to throw in the towel. He was like, throw in the damn towel. Throw in the damn towel. Nigga Nori's like, shut up. I got this. So she walked up to the studio at 12 p.m. You know you don't fucked up, right? <laughs> yeah, when y'all see it for yourself, if you did, you'll you'll see. But yo, Nori's dirty, man. That nigga Lamar Odom you. I'm sorry, Crazy Bone. You know I love you, my dude, man. I met you before in Miami, man. But Jesus Christ, that nigga Lamar Odom you. That nigga Crazy Bone was up there like. Yo, y'all down with the Illuminati? <laughs> Crazy ball. <laughs> Do not, crazy boy, you are not invited to no cookouts that I'm doing, man. Niggas got to put a wristband on you, my nigga. You can't drink. You can only come to the, the cookout. But niggas got to put a wristband on you, 18 and under, nigga. You cannot drink, nigga. You got to go over to the wine cooler section over there with the chicks. Oh, my God, yo. <laughs> oh, shit. Is there footage? Yeah, Nori Drink Champs starring uh, Crazy Bone. Yeah, so other thing I want to talk, <laughs> talk about <laughs> is uh, <clears throat> I'm looking at like all the success that Megan Thee Stallion is having, right? And congratulations to her. But I feel like the dude called What's, what's his label? What's the label she was on, 1501? Or something like that? I feel like his label in the city of Houston got robbed. I do. And the reason I say that is because she's so popular and being that like she she's leading the pack in, in the female situation, she's not bringing nobody from Houston out introducing us to anybody else from Houston. There's no more new. Um, we're not getting to see the new blood from Houston. She could have put out a compilation album by now and introduced a whole bunch of Houston. I mean, a whole bunch of people from Houston. But it's like, since Rock Nation took her and took her away from the label, she not pumping the label. So the label's not able to introduce more people. So when I'm looking at it and I'm seeing where the game is at, it's it's, a ch it's time for a change or, or a shift and, um, a passing of the, the, the baton, a passing of the torch. Let like another city like Houston. Let's let's see what Houston like. Houston had it at one point when we got the Mike Jones, the Paul Walls, the Slim Thugs, <clears throat> the uh, I mean Ghetto Boys, Carface, and all has already been established. But the Chameleon is it was it was a a, a moment where Houston had this run. And being that she's carried that flag for the most part since she came out, it's like she should be introducing a Houston sound, Houston artists, 
Houston produces because of who she got. It's like when uh <clears throat> when Jay came out, he brought us bleak. You know what I'm saying? With uh with Nas, you know, you learned about Queens Bridge and then everything that came out of there. You know what I'm saying? Um Staten Allen, Wu Tang Pop, a whole bunch of other things come after that. Um Little Wayne, you know, even though Nikki wasn't from there, whatever, he introduced the the Nikki's and the Drakes and whoever, the Tigers, this, that, and other. She's not using her 15 minutes of fame to boost herself up under her and create different brands or record label, whatever, but most of all, bringing her city forward in this rap in this rap game you know what i'm saying she just hang out in la but it should be bring you bring your city up with the sound bring the sound to to the to the culture bring the new people to the culture because in a minute your, your light is going to be dead and then you're going to be wanting to go back home and try to work with other people and it's going to be harder for you to break these people then when then when you when you don't got the light shining on you as opposed to when you got the light shining on you so y'all in houston y'all better start getting on home girl like yo show some love to the city the city built you up come pull a few of us artists out put out a compilation a mixtape something I'm seeing uh, Bum B got an XM radio station. He trying to play, uh, what is it called? Trill Radio on XM Rock the Bells Radio, LL's Rock the Bells Radio. But he got, you know, a show on there. So he tried to play as much Houston stuff. But <clears throat> they got to cross market that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just giving y'all an idea. That's just me just giving y'all an idea. Ain't none of my business, but I know that if Megan was still on that label, it, even though she probably still is on that label, but even though she ain't dealing with them, but <clears throat> you're not. He can't, he can't piggyback off of her because he can't put artists on records with her. He can't put artists on the stage with her. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. You know what I mean? But uh, we know Beyonce is from Houston. Get, Beyonce is from Houston? Get the mark. You got to be joking. But Beyonce, she did have Slim Thug on song. She put a lot of Houston people on her records, if you go back and check. So that's the equivalent of what I'm talking about. So shout out to Carl. What is this like 1501? I think it is. I don't know. Something like that. But uh 1801, 1501, some numbers or whatever. But yeah, just you know, that's just my thought. Even with, you know, think about it. When Dr. Dre, even when Dre Dre left easy in them. He got Snoop, and Snoop and them got the dog pound. You know, you bring the death row introduced so many labels because one artist popped. You know what I'm saying? Ruthless introduced so many labels because JJ Fad popped. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Eminem introduced Proof, uh, uh, OB Trice, D12. You just, when you got this spotlight, you, you bring up your city. You know what I'm saying? You bring up the artists around you because you're not going to have that run forever. You're not. And then if one of these other artists pop, like a Drake or a Nicki, then you can sit back like Wayne and just be chilling and getting that bread and, and still remain relevant because your people are relevant.
I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. 15 on one it is, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So y'all know what it is, man. That's that's just my opinion. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying that while somebody from Houston got the torch, she should uh, be opening the, pulling the curtain back and letting everybody else in VIP. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. When Kendrick popped, we got TD, we got all these other dudes. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just something that you you do when uh, uh when a region popped. When Nelly popped, he gave us the same lunatics. Open the door for Chingy. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Twister pop opened the door for Do or Die. He jumped on the record with them dudes, Paul Pimp. He made those dudes pop. We didn't know who Do or Die was. But being that twister pop, and he got on that, uh, do you want to ride in the backseat of a caddy? Do it, I went, do or die. You pull up your city. Now, you know what I'm saying? That opened the door for the, the, the uh, crucial conflict dudes. You know what I'm saying? You shine a light on your city, man. Just Especially when niggas believed in you and put money in you and you pop. Pull other people up while you got it, because I'm telling you, when your light is gone, it's gone. And it's hard. And then these people don't act like they know you no more. And it ain't easy for you to walk your artist in to an office when you're not hot no more. When you hot, they'll kiss your feet. When you're not, they act like they don't know you. You know how much money Master P spent on all these networks and, and radio stations and with promotional magazines and stuff. And you see how they treat Master P now? Like he, he's like a nigga that wasn't selling tens of millions of records a year. When you hot, capitalize off of it. When you're not, they gonna forget about you. I'm telling you, man. Megan, just a little, uh, just a little, advice capitalize off your success joke no joke i'll be back later you know what it is all right thanks for all the donations i'll let you check it out joke no joke learn from mistakes dj s and s the great it ain't no telling you be a first time felon. No telling when you be a first time felon. It ain't no telling you be a first time felon. No telling when you be a first time felon. Best day of my life, no sleep all night. Broke day for weeks, my cash was right. My cop will tight, take our loot, unite. 23 hour shifts, had to see loot like Mike. Cash, lovely, yeah, Dougie. How could this day get so ugly? Wifey about to pop. Like some bubbly Yo, doodles now moss, no really bubbly Felt like a star, cop first car Get up with the guard, what it is, baby, pa Hip out the cop of van, get up with our mans Before we reached our low spot, toes blam Underwear, what happened, discussing the clapping It wasn't loud, ain't shit gonna happen Me being stupid, instead of getting they moving This nigga kept chefing, like the woo one Then we heard a knock, no one knew where this spot since niggas in the spot, since niggas not nah. Ain't no telling you be a first time felon No telling when you be a first time felon It ain't no telling you be a first time felon No telling when you be a first time felon It ain't no telling you be a first time felon No telling when you be a first time felon I'm in the precinct all damn even This good cop, bad cop shit got me steaming No, I was caught, I ain't give a fuck had jokes like the 